was crash. going on. That would be yeah. amazing if he played. I mean, Wouldn't it? Yeah. He almost lost his leg. Yeah. yeah. And yeah then they said he might not walk again. Yeah. Right. And then Augusta's not a flat course either. No. There's a lot of hills, so we'll see how that goes right here on KPIX 5 this weekend. But before the weekend gets here, we are going to see some big changes to our weather. Today, it was cool, it was breezy, but it was dry. The latest storm system aiming all of its moisture and energy towards the Pacific Northwest, just squeezing the atmosphere over the Bay Area and producing those gusty winds that we're still experiencing right now. The winds gusting up over 30 miles an hour. The sustained winds have been in the 20 to 25 mile an hour range, but they're going to slack off as we head through tonight. Once the sun goes down, the winds are going to be lighter. We're going to start off tomorrow morning with the strongest gust for most of us in the 10 to 15 mile an hour range, except Bodega Bay. You're always the exception on the windy side. The wind is going to change direction for parts of the Bay Area as we head through the day tomorrow. Farther inland, it's going to become an offshore breeze, so temperatures are going to be significantly warmer for inland parts of the North Bay and the East Bay. Northwesterly winds are going to take the cooler air over the bay and deliver it down into the Santa Clara Valley, but San Jose, you're still going to be about five degrees above average. And along the coast, the wind is going to be from the northwest instead of straight from the west, which does make a difference in terms of how much temperatures warm up along the coast and around the bay. Everyone's temperature should end up about four to eight degrees above average, and then the really warm air arrives later on this week. Looking outside, there is the fog. This is about as thick as it's going to be as we look out from the Mark Hopkins Hotel. It's actually going to diminish later on tonight. We're not going to see nearly as much of it to begin the day tomorrow. That onshore breeze kept temperatures cool for most of us, but made it up into the low 70s for Concord and Santa Rosa. You'll be in the mid to upper 70s tomorrow. San Jose almost hit 70, 60 degrees on the button for San Francisco and Pacifica only in the mid 50s, but even even along the coast, I think your temperatures are going to hit the 60s tomorrow. We'll start off with some of that fog, but you can see it already shrinking on Futurecast as we head towards sunrise on Tuesday morning. What little fog is left over will diminish quickly. We will see plenty of sunshine for the rest of the day. Temperatures are going to start off mostly in the mid to upper 40s, which is normal for early April. The coolest spots in the North Bay Valley is dropping down to the low 40s, and then temperatures are going to warm up with that shift in the winds, about 4 to 8 degrees above normal. Let's zoom in for a closer look at tomorrow's high temperatures along the coast. Low 60s, so hey, you're going to climb above 60 degrees. That's making progress with the warmest air yet to come Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Around 70 down the peninsula and around the south end of the bay with low to mid-70s inland in the Santa Clara Valley. 73 degrees in San Jose. Not as warm as other inland parts of the Bay Area because of that northwesterly wind bringing in the cooler air over the bay. Temperatures in the mid to upper 70s for inland parts of the East Bay. Not a whole lot of variation there. A good 6, 7, 8 degrees above average. Temperatures in San Francisco reach the upper 60s, right around 70 degrees for Oakland and the East Bay, with mostly mid-70s for the North Bay, except along the coast where your temperatures, again, will at least reach 60 degrees. Farther north, temperatures also mostly in the 70s. And then the really warm air arrives for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Wednesday afternoon, high temperatures are going to be 15 to 20 degrees above average for most of the Bay Area. And that's not the warmest day in the seven-day forecast. Thursday, we're going to be 20 to 25 degrees above average for most of the Bay Area. This is the day that we're most likely to approach record territory. And while temperatures will back off on Friday, we're still going to be a good 15 to 20 degrees above average inland, about 10 to 15 degrees above average around the Bay. And then temperatures are going to drop off significantly as we head into the weekend. So we're going to go up the roller coaster for the next few days and then right back down the other side in time for the weekend and even a chance for a couple of rain showers to visit the Bay Area on Monday. It's the last day of the seven-day forecast, so it's too early to get too excited about that, but at least there's a chance somewhere down the line in the forecast. There's that temperature roller coaster up the next several days and then right back down over the weekend. The warmest or hottest day will be Thursday, well into the 80s for San Francisco and Oakland, low 90s for San Jose, also low 90s for inland parts of the East Bay and the North Bay, and even along the coast, temperatures are going to reach up into the upper 70s for high temperatures Thursday afternoon, but it's more than a 10 degree drop along the coast from Thursday to Friday as the onshore breeze will return. We'll take a look at those daily rain chances, look ahead to what might happen early next week and I'll have tomorrow's dog walking forecast coming up at six. Thank you so much.